Welcome to Star Stories, a collection of the moments that connect us all to something greater than ourselves, the night sky. This is Amy C. Oliver, Visitor and Science Center Manager at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory and your host. Today's star story brings sisters together, the seven sisters to be exact. Tracy Beeden of Sarita, Arizona loves learning and as a young girl of six, her head was always in a book or in the sky. A daring climb up a trellis to a family rooftop took her closer to the Pleiades, the open star cluster that has guided her through life and led her to pursue a degree in astronomy. Without further ado, here is The Seven Sisters by Tracy Beeden. When I was about six years old, I had three great loves, the night sky, reading, and climbing literally everything. During the day, I would climb up into the fig trees in the yard, one of my grandma's books in tow. At night, I would sneak outside and lay in the cool, damp grass and just swim in the stars. A small, kite-shaped group of stars called out to me. It just felt special. One night I lay there, wishing I could somehow be closer to the sparkling group of lights. Eyeing my grandfather's grapevine, I wondered if the trellis leading up the side of the house was climbable. I tentatively climbed one square, and then another, until I reached the roof. Staying at the edge was far too scary, so I quickly scurried to the center of the roof. I remember having to catch my breath, although I can't quite recall if it was on this particular endeavor or another one. I lay on my back and sadly realized that I was not any closer to my scintillating friends. Personally, I did feel taller and sort of removed from the world around me. Although I wasn't any closer, the world felt more still, and I felt more alone with the stars. I must admit that even though I was breaking the rules, I climbed up there many nights until someone would eventually come find me and coax me down. But those stars still beckoned me. I desperately needed to know what they were and why they traveled together. In an effort to save her books from dog-eared pages, my dear grandmother ordered a children's magazine for me. Call it fate, call it serendipity, but the first issue I received had an article about my stars. They were called the Pleiades and were a cluster of young stars. The article also told the mythology of the Kiowa Nation, where the visible stars were known as the Seven Sisters. After teasing a baby bear, the mama bear chased the sisters up the Devil's Tower in Wyoming. The sisters prayed to the rock and it lifted them out of harm's way. But there they were trapped until they prayed to the heavens to be lifted amongst the stars. The seven sisters, or more accurately, a thousand sisters, have served as a beacon, guiding me through my life and always making sure I know my way. Star stories bring us together because they tell us something about ourselves. They let us know that no matter what is happening in the world around us, we all have something in common. Our awe for, wondering, and appreciation of the night sky. To submit your own star story for inclusion in this collection, send 200 to 300 words detailing your first, best, a most important interaction with the night sky to Whipple Science Center at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. And as always, keep looking up.